Hey guys, Blazing here. So, uh, Microsoft has decided to lay off a total of 10,000 employees and 343 got hit in the crossfire. This does not bode well for Halo Infinite as you can imagine. Regardless of your feelings towards 343, not everyone over there are bad eggs. Even though I don't know any of them personally, I'm sure there's definitely people over there that try their hardest to make Halo the best it can be for us. What's unfortunate is that the competitive side of 343 got hit. This sucks because the competitive scene has been doing very well throughout Halo Infinite's life cycle, so far, for the most part. Halo Infinite hasn't been doing well, or even Halo as a whole, as a franchise, regardless of your feelings towards Halo, it hasn't been doing well for the past decade. The unfortunate reality that maybe some of you really need to realize is, Halo kind of died a decade ago, when Halo 4 came out. To the average gamer at least aka people around the world that used to be fans. On a personal note, as I said before, I made this channel thinking Halo Infinite was going to be the franchise's comeback. And this was supposed to be a Halo Infinite channel. Now as far as what the future holds for Halo, it looks like we don't know anything. However, I'm going to make a bold prediction here. I think 343 is going to go back to being the side studio that helps other dev teams with their games, and I think Certain Affinity might be the new ter caretakers of Halo. So Certain Affinity and 343 might switch positions. Now obviously this is just pure speculation from me, and I could be completely wrong, but in case it does happen, you heard it from me. Other things you must know about is while some employees from the competitive side were let go, mostly the single player slash campaign guys at 343 were hit as well. Most importantly, we lost Joe Staten. He was our last beacon of hope for Halo Infinite, and now that he's left 343, I don't know who else at 343 understands Halo as much as he does. Now Joe wasn't let go exactly, he's just going back to what he was doing before on the Xbox publishing team I think. It seems like this could be the last year for Halo Infinite. Season 3 could be the last season, and I don't know if certain Affinity's unannounced Tatanka mode will even come out, or even like, at all. Since Joe Staten and the campaign team were hit pretty hard, that means defi we're definitely not getting any sort of campaign DLC. Truth be told, I was not planning to make another Halo Infinite video till Season 3 launch, but obviously this was such a big deal that I had to make a video on it. Now I would like either 343 or Microsoft to make an official statement on what the future of Halo looks like. All we can do is speculate on what the fuck is gonna happen next. Are the servers gonna get fixed? Will there even be a Season 4? I assume there's bound to be more news to come in the coming weeks, or maybe even months, but as of right now, Halo's future looks uncertain. That's going to do it for this video. I might make another one if there's any more official news that come out, and regardless of what happened, I still plan to make content in Halo Infinite Season 3, and until next time, peace.